Caitlin, you know, assists are one thing, but it just feels like how much pride do you take in setting your teammates up so perfectly with the precision of your passes? And just it seems like they're not just assists, they're, they're like very special assists in that way. How much pride do you take as a point guard in doing that? Yeah, it's so fun, like just getting to pick apart the defense, especially when like we get stops in, on, on defense and get to go in transition. Like I just get excited. And like, honestly, like a lot of my turnovers, that's where they come from. Like just trying to play exciting basketball in transition. Um, but I mean, I don't know, like at times I feel like I, I can almost overpass because like I want to set them up so badly that like I almost kind of lo lose vision of like the basket at times or like, you know, I'm almost thinking like to pass the ball and kind of forget about shooting that at times. But um, I don't know, I think it like it adds a whole other dimension of what the defense kind of has to scheme for. It's like, you know, I'm going to try to set up my teammates the best I can, but at the same time, I want to be able to score the ball. So. The more I can do that, um, the better it's going to be for our team overall. All right, so last game they played three bad quarters and one good one. This game they said, let's reverse it. Came out hot. A fast start again. Who would have thunk? You put your actual starters in the starting lineup, they start fast again. Couldn't have guessed it. Listen, Kelsey Mitchell had me worried again early in this game. She missed a shot, caught a rebound, dribbled in three or four circles, went out to the three-point line, missed another one. I said, oh, man. By the end of the quarter, she had 13 points and was six for nines. This is the Kelsey Mitchell experience. Got You just got to kind of live through it. You got to deal with it. Um, Celeste Taylor, hey, listen. Celeste Taylor, 24 minutes, plus 10, plus minus. That's all I want to say. She had the best plus minus on the team. Five assists, zero turnovers. She only took three shots. Lexi Hall, 0 for 7, plus minus, negative 16. Erica Wheeler, nine minutes. She was 1 for 1, plus minus, negative 16. So all I'm saying is who would you rather have had? Erica Wheeler in that situation or Celeste Taylor? Case closed. Um, And I like Lexi Hall, too. When you guys were trying to tell me burger, burger, burger earlier in the season, I'm like, I don't know. I like Lexi Hall in those minutes. I like her 3 and D. So, you know. But as far as her being a, the best perimeter defensive player and all that stuff you guys were saying, man, Kalea Copper laughed at that. She looked her dead in the eyes and laughed at that, laughed at you guys. She scored 36, man. You can't stop the best player on offense. It's in the NBA or the WNBA. It's not going to happen. She's a great team defender, but if you're going to go 0 for 7 and miss the layup in the free throw or a three-pointer to uh, give Kaylin Clark the record, yeah, give me Taylor in it for those minutes, man. But no Lexi hate. No hate on anybody. This is a great game. I love the shot distribution. I didn't mind Mitchell taking the most shots. She's a shooter. 19 shots. Boston, 17 shots, 21 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 steals, 2 blocks. Wonderful game. Kayla Clark, 16 shots. Right where we wanted, right? 20 points, 13 assists. A few too many turnovers, 6. Yeah. 2 blocks, 1 steal. She always gets the blocks. Love that. Just didn't love the way they, you know, they almost had the most complete game of the season. I felt so good about this game until the fourth quarter, but we're going to take the win. Going to take the win, even though they had no starting <laughs> no starting guards, basically. We're going to take the win. Would have liked to have seen Alyssa Smith get another rebound, too, so they could have had three double-doubles in one game. I'm not sure how many times that's happened for the Fever, but that would have been cool since we didn't get that 14th assist. But either way, a win is a win is a win. They almost hit 100 points for, I believe, the first time this season. Didn't happen. As long as we come out and get a win next time, that's really all I care about, man. See if we can beat these links. I'm not really worried about the wings, even though anybody can get you on any night. But, yeah, let's go into this Olympic break hot like this. I like it. Let me know what you guys thought. This, this was a good one, man. Um, Yeah. Nothing else really jumped out at me. You know, Dantes, she only played a few minutes there. Didn't really see much from her. Samuelson, she couldn't hit a three to save her life. But the rebounds were there for her. The defense was there, you know, when when they went at her. Didn't really see much play her way because everything was Kalea Copper whenever they got anything good going on. So it was pretty much just her against the guards. And they did what they could do. She had her way. It wasn't enough to win. We'll take it all day. Oh, yeah, Chrissy Sides, the pregame. Now, see, look, we weren't digging, but you kept bringing it up about the coach's decision. Another bad microphone moment. Every time she's near a microphone. <laughs> Just 
Like they were willing to just, the reporters were willing to just let that story die and you had to make it resurface. So the whole Nalissa Smith situation, I'm glad that she came out and still performed, even with her coach, you know, backing the bus over her five minutes before game time. Um, but yeah, really, really looking forward to seeing Timmy get some of those minutes again. We really need that production. We've been suffering without it. Probably wouldn't have collapsed in the end if we had Timmy out there. Um, other than that, like I said, it was a great game. We needed that one. Couldn't lose two in a row at home. Definitely don't want to lose going to face the Lynx. Not really worried about the wings, but we don't want to lose that game going to an Olympic break either. So, going to take the win. Going to watch this next game. Going to be back once I see the post games. You guys know how I do. Till the next video. Peace.